Hi there guys, it's uh, Peter from p and Aquatics again, so uh, just wanted to do um, a slightly different update of uh, how to prepare brine shrimps. So uh, I'm just going to go through the equipment I've got here. So I've got a, a bit of paper just to act as a little funnel to get into the bottle. I've got a plain glass wine bottle. Um, so uh, please ask parent permission if you're, you're a kid if you can have one of these. Um, also got a special uh, bottle type adapter which uh, I'll just put in there to show you. Uh, fits in there, a tube and then plugged in there. The airline goes onto one of these tubes uh, and makes it all bubble up. Uh, you can also run these in a series so you can have uh, multiple bottles. So if you get a couple of those you can have up to three bottles. Um, got some bicarbonate soda, some aquarium salt and also some uh, brine shrimp, some good quality brine shrimp uh, which I got off eBay. So uh, this is what you need to do. So uh, I'll just take this bit of paper, um, take out a little piece of bicarbonate soda, just so the end of a teaspoon, that's all you really need. And just put that on there. So Do one added as always. It's the best thing to try for one of these days. And you just pour that into the bottle. That's your bicarbonate soda in there. Of course, you also need a, an airline, a spare airline as well. Um, aquarium salt. So uh, this is the, the stuff I use. Uh, it's a crystallized form. So you want a, about a tablespoon of that. And what I do with my brine shrimp eggs as well is when I, uh, obviously they will go off after a while, so um, I keep them refrigerated. So just pop them in the in the freezer. Oh, sorry, in the fridge. Don't put them in the fridge; it'll kill the eggs. Uh, put them in the fridge, um, and I'll keep them nicely. So uh, just pour an aquarium salt in there. Right now, before I put the eggs in, I like to cycle this. Uh, as you can see, all the salt at the bottom there so I like to cycle this with an airline to, to allow that um, salt to break down so I'll just plug that into an airline make sure you get it on the right tube otherwise you end up spitting out a load of water out the top as well so just turn that on there we go it's bubbling away okay so I'm going to let that um, just break down for a bit and then I'll introduce the brine shrimp eggs. You can see now the uh, salt crystals now have uh, melted into the water so they're making the water uh, nice and salty ready for the brine shrimps. So uh, now I'm going to put in the brine shrimp eggs. So first of all we need to take out the bubbler. Obviously we can't introduce that with a lid on so we'll turn that off. Put that back in shortly. So uh, again, like I say, brine shrimp eggs, make sure you get good quality brine shrimp eggs with a good hatch rate. Uh, keep them refrigerated. Um, I purchased uh, these online from eBay. I must say I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality of these. So I've got a little uh, spoon here. Just going to tip it onto my bit of paper. Like so this just makes it easier to pour into the bottle. So, so I've already put a fold in this paper as well just to make life easier. But it doesn't help when you try to do everything one I did. So, you see all the eggs are in there. And I'm just going to tip them. That's all you need is, uh, is is one of those teaspoons. Of that I'm just going to shake the bottle up a little bit just to get the eggs off the, off the side. Do that again when the bubbler's in there. 
Um, and this has just got normal tap water in it, by the way, this bottle. Um, so nothing special, no special water, but obviously putting the salt and the bicarbonate soda in there just gives it the right kind of um, proper environment for the brine shrimps to grow up in. So uh, some of those are floating at the moment. They will sink as soon as I get the bubbler in there as well, uh, which I'm going to do now. Bubbler in. That will circulate the eggs. So, you can see I've got a second uh, outlet here. That lets the air go. So if I block that, all the air stops, all the bubbling stops. So you can put another tube on that, put that into another bottle, so you've got just two bottles working, or you can get a second one of these uh, stoppers and uh, put them in a uh, series, and then you can have um, up to three, even more bottles running off one airline, which, here, which is great. So I'm just uh, shake that up a little bit, just get the eggs off the top. And that's it, that's uh, so in about 24 to 48 hours the eggs will hatch. Uh, you'll notice the difference because uh, you'll see a sort of redness in the water and uh, that'll be perfect to start feeding to your fry. Thanks for watching.